we had to do was take some IT students who opted to do IT and tell them actually with the option blocks you can have to do computing. I hope that's all right. And one or two moved, and <coughs> didn't. So it's a very different group. It's a very strange group. I've got kind of like a, a student um, who has sat down and taught himself Python over a weekend um, and now knows more Python than I do. That's not working. No, never mind. Um, and I've got students who, who don't understand Pythagoras. <coughs> And he said to me, I'm in set like 112 for maths. Um, so I've got a really broad mix of group, and I'm not sure if I've made the right choice or not. But I chose for the, for the 452. Are we all familiar with the syllabus, broadly speaking? Have you never actually asked that yet? Thanks. Do you want to use this one instead? Um, no, I'll, I'll just talk. It'll be fine. Thank you. Um, so basically, what this 451 is the exam, 452 is the research task, 453 is the programming task, and, and the second and third are control assessment tasks. Um, and there's a JavaScript one there, which looks really, really good and useful. Um, and so there's also a little man computer assembly language one. And I've, I've loved the little man computer for a long time. Um, sounds a bit odd. But I, I kind of discovered it when I was teaching A level computing. And it's a really good way of introducing assembly language low level programming. And I thought that what I would do is I'd use that one rather than JavaScript. Because as well as the research bit, as well as the programming bit, you're also looking at the fetch execute cycle, because you have to, you're looking at low level programming because you have to, and so it impacts on the theory as well, in a way that the JavaScript also impacts on the validation theory, um, but I quite like the little man computer. It's a bit more complicated, and it's probably a bit harder, but it has benefits of its own as a consequence. Um, as a shame I can't show what it looks like, because it's, it's quite handy to do that. Um, but what we've done the... Well, it, just to point out, the, the, the teacher that you did, I think it's still yes. available off the CAS, web, off yeah. the CAS <coughs> website, also, if you go on YouTube and you type in "little man computer," there are hundreds of videos yes, that people absolutely. have. Yeah. Absolutely, like the screen pass out mm -hmm. there. Um, but yeah, the, the, the basic task is they give you some code in "little man computer" that um, keeps taking away numbers in a loop, and you have to look at it and kind of. There's a slight area you have to describe how it works. Um, and there's a slight area you could fix, and you have to write two programs. One of them um, is to do a division and to get the quotient part, just the whole number part. And the second one is to work out the mean of a set of numbers um, <coughs> of variable length. So it could be three numbers, could be ten numbers, could be hundred numbers. It's somebody going to type in until they type in the value zero, at which point it will output the total and the whole number part of the mean. Which is actually, it's not trivial. Um, for, for 14 year old mixed ability kids who don't understand Pythagoras, it's a real challenge. And one of my challenges has been to help them kind of chunk that down into smaller tasks. Um, but I've really enjoyed it, and I think the students have learned a lot. Um, I told them I was coming here today to talk to you, um, and asked them what they wanted me to say about the course. And what they said is, it's brilliant, and they're all getting new stars. Um, that's what they told me to tell you. I'm not entirely sure that's true. But some of them were, certainly. Um, and what else is there to say, really? The, the biggest challenge I've found with them is, I've done some theory, and we've done some Python programming, we've done some scratch programming, and then we've gone to the little computer towards the end. And because we've looked at pseudocode, a lot of them are trying to do their planning in pseudocode, in assembly language. Which basically means it's got to be line by line, because that's how assembly language works. And so they're deliberately writing the code and then turning it into pseudocode to show they've planned it, which is not the way I want them to do it. And I'm really struggling to get them to, to do the design and the planning bit. I'm getting better by talking to them about natural language and just describing it and chunking it. And, and we're getting there. Uh, but I think one of the pitfalls with little computer is if they're used to pseudocode and they've looked at that kind of planning technique, they find it quite difficult to do anything other than line by line kind of planning. Um, and without being able to show you, that's pretty much all I've got to say, I think, at the minute, unless there's lots of questions, which is, of course, the point. Um, so I think we'll probably all shoot up there. Um, I'm just allowing you to ask questions and have a discussion of each other as well as much as well.